Al Pacino calls the theater his flashlight. It's how he finds himself, where he sees truth. And since Al first hit Broadway in 1969, his singular talent has been the gold standard for acting. A great playwright once compared the way Al inhabits his characters to the way Louis Armstrong played jazz. One director said that while some actors play characters, Al Pacino becomes them. And we've all seen it. In the span of five years, you think about it, he became Serpico, became Sonny Wurtzitz, twice became Michael Corleone for, let's face it, what have got to be the two best movies of all time. <laughs> became Tony Montana on screen, then became the owner of a couple of Tonys on the stage, uh, and he's always been this way. At 13, Al committed so profoundly to a role in the school play that when his character was supposed to get sick on stage, Al actually got sick on stage. <laughs> I am not sure how audiences felt about that, but later when he played Richard III and Jackie Kennedy visited him backstage, the actor playing this self-absorbed king didn't even stand up to greet actual American royalty, which he says he still regrets. <laughs> Through it all, Al has always cared more for the, his flashlight than the spotlight. Uh, he says he's still getting used to the idea of being an icon. But his gift, for all the inspiration and intensity that he brings to his roles, is that he lets us into what his characters are feeling. And for that, we are extraordinarily grateful. Al Pacino. <laughs>